go. First one tonight. I don't know what I hit on. I can't remember which one I put on this. But I lost one earlier. And then I was sitting here screwing around. This don't feel like a salmon at all. Unless I'm hung up. There, whatever it was broke off. So maybe now we can see this. Once the surface. Yeah. All right, it's running back. It's going outside, those two. That's a strong current out there though. It's under. Let's see if I can get them back in. They'll make a run for it. And it's like they see those lines, so then they go right for the lines. It's coming in now though. I was just jammed on that rock. I see color. That's a springer. Big springer that's gonna go right for that line again. And he did it, he went for it. Damn it, I had him right there. He's a nice one, so I'm not gonna try to screw it up, so just be patient. I have to keep my drag really, I have to keep my drag really uh, loose because that current is crazy right there. When they hit it, a jack will feel like, feel like, 15 pounder and that this one's a fairly big one after I seen it come up At first I thought I was a sturgeon, but it was just the my sinker was stuck Nice color It's like a female They like that spot they head for it right away It just, it's a shelf out there, so when they hit that along that shelf and then that current really picks up because it opens up. Come on. I'm starting to get tired even now. I'm trying to get the hook. I try to get the bell ringing on, on camera too, but I never can. It takes too long for it to turn on. Try to keep the head out of off the top too because they panic when you start trying to lift them. So here we go. This is the moment. It's a big one. It's a big one. It was worth taking my time. That's a nice one. That lime one, like I said before, it's the ticket. I don't know, that's gotta be at least 17 pounds, that's 15 pounds. When you grab the tail back here like this and you pinch it, you'll notice that's just too big for my hand. Normally, if I can get around there, if you pinch it, Real hard, you'll notice the pins will come up like that. What it does is paralyze them and you squeeze it really hard back here. And watch those hooks too. Those double hooks will kick up and they'll get you. So you can see I got it hooked really good under here. As long as I didn't try to manhandle it in, I did a good job just being patient. I pull the gills. Normally when you do the gills too, now you can be underwater. Make sure you push them down, get that blood all out of their veins. Makes filleting a lot more nicer. So, but you kind of want to hold it upside down, but she's pretty big, so. My first fish tonight, big old female. Gotta be 15 pounds, she's a big one. Good girl. 